of the World Parkour Championship. I'm Ryan Doyle, I'm here with my co-host Fernando RC. And we're going to be bringing you the rest of the action, the finalists that were in the qualifiers yesterday, the Alive After Five round left us with a list of athletes that are going to be competing in the freestyle finals. Do you have that list? I have this list right here in front of me and I can read it off to you right now. Dun, dun, in the dun, dun. freestyle finals we've got, coming up from the US of A, we've got Sean Higgins. My Canada, boy. we've got Nick Provo. From Mexico, Dyer Sanchez. Russia, Kira Koleskinokov. From Ukraine, we've got Eric Mukomechin. Of course. Also from USA, we've got Joey Adrian. Iran, Mohamed Moradi. From Iran, Farshad Mohamedian. From Iran, Ilya Mohavad. From Turkey, Baras Erodogan. From Iran, Hamad Moradi. Turkey, Burke Yunis Koplan. From Lebanon, Ziad Karam. And also from Iran, Ashkan Yazadamir. He's the wild card winner. That's great. Hope you guys watched the uh, speed round yesterday and the Alive After Five. We're going to cut to some clips of that now and give you a little preview of what happened if you missed it. So let's see if we can bring up. In the beginning, right in the beginning, but still made up the course enough time to get third place. Moving really super fast around this course. Dude, he made up so much time. Our camera made even. He lost around. about three seconds with that shoe, and then he oh, like if that didn't happen, I, was, I, I would have took first place. That step pre, that's a massive pre. He flowed into it and, and rolls the line. across the line. Wow, 26 seconds. What an amazing, amazing run! Even with losing a shoe in the very beginning, still came in third place. Awesome. So we have some of that. That was in the speed round. We had the Alive After Five following that. And after the Alive After Five, the top two athletes from each group made it to the freestyle round, which is coming up today and really soon coming up. And we have a really sunny sunny day out today. Um, wow, yeah, we got the weather on our side. The parkour gods are out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it came yesterday, it was all torrential rain. Right up into the moment when we decided to go live and then the heavens opened and the sun came out, dried up all the rain. And we've done the event right up to the last the last team of the Alive After Five, they went, and then it, it just started to rain again as we were finishing. It was absolutely perfect. It's like, you have this amount of time to get your event done, and then we're going to start raining again. And it just worked out beautiful. Today, we were expecting some more rain again, but it seems to be way better than yesterday. It started off lovely and sunny. Just a little, little bit overcast at the moment, but I think the athletes are going to appreciate that because the sun gets really intense. So the Alive After Five was like the eliminator where we ended up with our finalists for the freestyle round. They're on the course now practicing. These guys need a good couple of hours to figure out what they can do, try and work on some tricks that are unique to this location only. I mean, there's one, sometimes you can just bring the, the movements that you already got to an environment or sometimes you can just find a new movement and new stuff that only works in this specific location. And here's our second place winner, Joey Adrian, come with that smooth dive roll right from the beginning. Has enough oh. time to, whoo, <laughs> <press> to <laughs> side flip. I love that camera angle. Smooth transition in the underbar. There's no stopping this guy. Every obstacle he's using to his advantage, he's getting more and more speed each time he touches oh. a piece of equipment. That is a true athlete right there. Does not stop moving. Takes a small body all around this gigantic course, and boom! Joey Adrian! <laughs> As I, love, I, love I just love saying this dude's name. <laughs> <laughs> he actually came 0.3 seconds in second right behind Eric Mukomechin. Yeah, wasn't he a world champion in uh, Las Vegas, too? He, yeah, he won the uh, jump off. Yeah, he would. Yeah. Then we got Sean Higgins on the course now. Sean Higgins, USA. He's going to be first up on our freestyle round. Oh, he's ready. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Kicking off freestyle. Sean Higgins. Ooh, nice little elevator full side flip. Under bar, right into, whoa. Oh, he's getting really creative out there. Yes. Keeping the flow going. Right side flip off that wall on top of the, whoa, touchdown side. He's making sure he's using all parts of the course. Cast back pre on that gap. B twist stuff. Dropping down low. Oh, palm flip. Moving around the wall. Looks like he's eyeing something up. Oh, little small step, swing through. A little pistol squat backflip. Swinging cast flip. He's going to call it. Is, that's it. That, that was smooth, run. <laughs> Solid start. Way to set the bar. Yes, my boy, Sean. Yeah, and you might have noticed he've cha slightly changed the course from yesterday. We've 
obviously I had to bring the obstacles together for the freestyle because it's all it's not doesn't have to be spread around, it's not a speed run. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> all right. Up next we've got that blue haired man all the way from Canada da 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 da. Nick Provo. Get some instant replays of Sean. Is that Higgins. double A twist up? Yeah, it looks like it. Little step on the bar, straight into oh, that. Oh, I love his style where he just flows around, puts his hands on the ground, and keeps it inverted. Woo! There it is again. A little touchdown. And cast back pre. There's a gap in between the pallets. Boom. Always flowing out to the direction he's going towards. Nice Whoa. little palm flip. I think Here that little one-handed back flip that he did at the top was Pistol. the... Pistol. Whoop! Swing through. And his final move. Swinging hand cast back. He's got that down. Stomped it out. He's done. Very nice. Was that the Gumby that he threw earlier on? Like the backhanded one twisting? Well, yeah. yeah I'd love, love, love to come back and interview him for that I, one. I love how they can play to like the genres of the sport. You know, it's not just wall tricks or bar tricks. Sometimes you're just left with a piece of flat land and you've got to have the flat land tricks. Mm -hmm. Keeping the flow going. Here's Nick getting ready. Telling the cameraman where he's going to be going so they don't miss any of the action. How can you miss him? His hair's blue. <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta make sure he's, he's away from this water puddle right there. We got one little couple streaks right there. Gonna be starting. Looks like he's gonna be starting at the at the hole in the I wall. I feel his nerves, man. I know that pace. <laughs> I'm a little excited. He's gonna start over here. Maybe he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna go towards the towards the ramp where the vault's at, or if he's gonna go towards the wall. I really think I really I don't know if he's gonna want to use that hole in the wall right there because he can't really flow out to the rest of the course. But yeah, we'll, he's see, we'll see where he's going. At. He's looking like really close to that wall. Looks like he's gonna go for it. I'm excited. Okay, he's using Nick a little Provo bit more from than Canada. Close. Here we go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Whoa, hanging worm cast. Whoa, right into a scoot swing full. Little Kong speed step. Straight into B twist. On the bar. Another B twist. Ooh. It's got nice flow. He doesn't take any unnecessary steps in between those movements. Whoa! Oh. Lazy boy stalled out backflip. Dull. Oh, nice. loving that step out swing through. Yeah. On top of the box, going towards the bars. <laughs> and he's just. A little swing gainer. Having fun on the course. Gainer off. There he and goes. Calling it. Nice shot from Nick Provo from Canada. Again, each athlete will have 90 seconds to get their freestyle run. If they choose to end it early, they can. It's usually give or take 30 seconds. Give or it? take, yeah. Yeah, just that the guys get around most of the course, use most of the obstacles, and they some feel athletes, like they've got it. Some athletes will do their run, and if they want to cut it early, they will. Some athletes will choose the run, use the whole 90 seconds, but if you choose to run, use the whole 90 seconds, you don't want to have you know, a lot of space in time thinking about what you're going to be doing for the rest of it. you got to have everything planned to a T. Now, remember, the judges are looking for those that specific criteria. you got flow, execution, creativity, difficulty. Hitting all the obstacles. And using the full course. Showing that you can go on any different terrain. Boom. That is like a one-story drop onto concrete. Ooh. And onto the bar for that swing gainer. That fly away. Off twist. Whoop. Right into a pop Come. into gainer. That's keeping it going. Oh, look at that beautiful view. Oh. <laughs> Such an amazing view with a competition out here. Very nice from Nick Provo. All right. There's my boy Omar on the microphone. All of our judges right there in those polos looking spiffy. Yeah, Slava right there on the left with the calf. I haven't seen him for a long time. I was so excited when I found out he was judging this event, along with my boy Brett. Brett. <laughs> All right. Up next, we're going to have Dyer Sanchez from Mexico. Mexico. Dyer's old school. He's been in the scene for such a long time. I met him back in 2008. Uh, 2009, and he's still going strong. And now, look at him, he's, he must be one of the oldest guys in competition right now.
We had 15 competitors for this freestyle round, but unfortunately one of our athletes had to drop out. We had Tavon McVeigh from the US of A. He wasn't quite feeling his freestyle round, so he decided to drop out, but we're gonna move on to Dyer Sanchez. Dyer gives him a thumbs up to the camera crew, making sure he's ready. Everyone's in position, judges are ready. All right, 90 second freestyle. Dyer Sanchez. Representing Mexico. Feeling that peak. There he yeah, goes. Jam it. Getting himself in the zone. Elevator front, right into a Kong, do a dive Kong, lazy out. A little A twist. Cat leap, pull over, gate vault over the bar. That's new. Whoa! Whoa, a little top front over there. Wow. Was that a Kong, miss Kong, and then to a dive roll? What the? Hopefully, get an instant replay of that one. Dyer dropping down, getting to the wall, climbing up. Ooh, very fast, up and over. Off to him, devil drop off. Nice. Inward side, side lift. lift. Got some flow onto that small box. And, uh oh. Dyer's a little confused. Somebody's distracted him. Uh oh. Maybe his heart stopped. <laughs> Might have been a loud bang or something was shocking out there. He's holding on to his heart. Something. Oh! I see over here on the window that a pillar has fallen off of the roof and has fallen into the courtyard. Luckily, no one was standing there and no one was by it. Wow. Um, yeah, there's the view. We're just looking at it. Okay. Again, this building is 800 years old, so it's going to be a little crumbly in some spots. The building is called Zingeria Madresa, which is an old school. Here we go. Might be able to see what happened here. I'm starting to go to the replays of the one. There, there it is. is! Oh my gosh, it looks like a double Kong, but he just doesn't do a. He yeah. misses that second one. He Kongs and, he and then it. Superman front flips. <laughs> yeah! Kong. That was incredible. Whoa! Nice little frisbee full kind of out there. I feel like his run got cut short slightly. Yeah, he looked like he was going to keep going onto the bars, just like the athletes, but uh, got a little distracted when that pillar fell down. It was a loud crash and a bang. Again, no one was hurt with that falling down. And they were replacing the banner right there. There it is. Zindiria Madresa. Oh, bird's eye view all in the glory. Year old building. That is our location for this weekend. I think Robbie did a really good job designing this course. He did. It. it takes a lot of man hours and countless times of practice and putting this to scale of where you want to put the obstacles, which obstacles you want to put, different creativity, because that hole in the wall you know, that, that went through three different processes of how they're going to cut a hole in that wall. And also knowing the level of stamina and ability that these guys can do, building the course that's going to cater for their needs, not going to be too stressful for them, not going to be too spaced out so that they're going to burn out. Yeah, it's, it's up to now, it's one of my favorite courses that's happened. The location, when, it, when it's in a real location where you haven't constructed anything, you just moved in, done the tournament, it's so much more natural and real. We're on a rooftop, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> My judges are talking about what they're going to be doing. Well, maybe Dyer did finish his run, and the judges seen it. Maybe. All right. It looks like we're going to move on. Kira Kolisnikov from Russia is up next. Kira. One of our youngest, younger competitors. We just How went old from is he? we just went from Me uh, Dyer, who's thirty, right? Yeah, he's. Yeah, I and think he's like thirty-two. Thirty-two. Jeez. And Kira is only twenty years of age. Wow. Yeah, he's a young gun out there. He's, he's a still a big, big guy big for twenty. Guy yeah. who's thirty. <laughs> yeah, we just dropped twelve years down into Kira right now. There's a that is a lot of mass on a on a human though. He is as big and as wide as Eric, and they, they seem to bounce off each other at this event, being the only two Russian guys oh. here. And when they were in that live after five, going together, that duo, syncing it up, making oh, sure that they had just don't plan. knock either of them out. <laughs> yeah, say, let's stick together. Good the little same planning thing. out they there. They won't eliminate us both. <laughs> <laughs> we have some more celebrity guests arising. Arriving. Arising. Looks like the president of Marden. The mayor. mayor of Martin. <laughs> Maybe some dignitaries with his relatives and out there. Checking out the course. It's obviously getting the VIP seats on the best view. And there's our production manager, Salim from Case Productions. Keeping an eye on the events, making sure it's getting captured and going down smooth. 
Hello Salim. <laughs> He's organized this whole thing from start to finish, working with WFPF and all the associations and IPF. And a big shout out to our sponsors there right now, Morel Shoes, Turkish Airlines, WPC Turkey, Turkish Home Campaign and the Ministry of Tourism. Thank you for your support. We couldn't have done it without you. Also a little shout out to our social outlets. We've got Unilad and Extreme. They're showing our finalists live on their channel. I do love the Unilad. I've worked with those guys a few times. Unilad is yeah. a funny little channel they got there. They got a great channel. I mean, not many people know that Uni was short for university or university lad, and it's targeting that audience, that mm. genre. That college culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got funny posts all the time. Make sure you guys check them out. We got one of our, pre our presidents out there, the WPF, Victor Bavine and David Thompson. I've been working with Victor and David for the past 12, 10, 12 years. Yeah. Uh, these guys are dedicated to making things happen, bringing more opportunities to the sport. All right, Kira, just talking to the judges right now, making sure we have everything in order, everything set and prepared. Kira, there's another guy I met for the first time on this trip, one of those athletes that was just unknown to me and then you see them and it's like whoa follow 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 where'd this guy come from why don't I know this <laughs> okay Kira warming up his hands, making sure he's ready. It's a little easy breezy on the course. Yeah, nothing, nothing's worse than the long wait right before you, you run. When you're, you're ready to go, you're ready to go. And he looks ready to go. All right. Three, two, one. What's he got for this hole in the wall? Or not. Round off, double back, oh my concrete. gosh! Like it's no problem at all. Kong to speed step, reverse vault out. Got a little flow on that panel box right there. Precision across to the dome, front flip down, back up. Scoot, Scoot double, double fall. fall. Lands so clean on everything. And this, is the guy, this guy is a tall guy, he's not small at all. <laughs> I can't believe he just threw a double back. Stomped it. Oh, did something off the wall. Onto the bars. Little flyaway roll out. B twist off. And he's still going to keep moving onto he's the wall. He's got something else planned. Oh, hanging cast back into a back handspring. Still going. Moving his way back up top. Going back all the way up top. Back. He's going to use all his 90 seconds getting around the course. He's got something else planned up here. This is, this is energy. Come on, what you to got To go here? down and do those tricks and then climb back up. Well, maybe he's done. Let's see if he's going to call it. Or has he got one more thing lined up for us? Looks like he's done. He's done. All right, good job, Kira Kolesnikov. He's just this big guy moving around that course. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a replay of that double back. That was insane. <laughs> the type, the clean landing on concrete. Just just casually like walked up into the there round was off. nothing to him. A double back. Stomped. Wait, let me breathe. <laughs> <laughs> There's the X he threw up. He's wearing the official athlete-sponsored clothing. You guys can get your own from WFBFParkourGear.com. There it is. Oh. Boom. Standard. Head, and his head was straight into the next movement. <laughs> and this too. One, two twists in the air. He's really playing to the judges' criteria. He got, definitely hit the difficulty marks. <laughs> He got his line of flow in there. That's actually the first double flip we've seen in competition today or tomorrow, or yesterday. That's that double backflip. That's right, our first yeah. double flip. We've seen double fulls, but that was our first double flip of the day. But up next, we've got Eric Mukamechin from the Ukraine. He's giving a thumbs up to the judges, starting at a different spot of the course. Three, two, one. Woo! 
there's that gainer he wanted. Gain of precision over a gap. Eric is known for his gainer Diving Saturday slash tag. Up onto the wall. Over the wall. Oh, all in with hanging gainer. Onto the wall. Oh, looks like he did it. Maybe a heel gainer on the back wall. Onto the bar, muscle up. Oh, oh giant. giant. Fly away, double! Oh. There's another double flip. Eric always sets the bar high. Double drop front flip. Bam. Bam. strong, Dying calls it. it, and he knows it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Showing respect to everyone, thanking the crowd. Eric, move That's how you need to be. Be happy with your run, confident with your finish. Yeah. He knows it. I mean, some, have you ever seen that when some people finish the, the course and they're not happy with themselves and oh, they're shaking they're their head? angry and they're just like, oh, oh, just, they're giving high fives, but they know they the, don't want it. Well, the audience thought you did great until That's you right. shook your head. <laughs> But when you see an athlete happy with her run, oh, oh we all feel it. Oh. We all feel it. And she goes up around. Here we go. Big fat gainer over a huge gap. Uh, just a, on an angled wall, back flip off there. Superman front flip. Oh, yeah. And he seems happy with his run. A lot better than yesterday because he had his head shaken after the speed round. He knew he didn't get the swing and precision after the, after the Giants but this this time he finished with a bang and he knew it very well done for Eric Mukamechin boom giving some love to Joey Adrian who's up next from the US of A Joey again he's sporting two different kinds of shoes right now it's our sixth athlete on the course, Joey. Oh, wow. Up until now, I'm, I'm loving it. You know, this is, I'm finding it hard to contain my excitement. Be professional, Ryan. You're on the microphone. <laughs> I'm like, I just want to scream. Joey's our sixth athlete up on the course right now. My boy, Stamina. It's his nickname for oh me. <laughs> He's the Energizer Bunny. I'm, I'm sure we're going to see combos after combos linked together nonstop. This is going to be such a fluid run right here. This is one of the Iranian guys. I'm that's so Mohammed, glad. Who's up right next to Joey. Yeah, I'm so glad those guys managed to make it over for this event. They've, they've so been dying to get involved in tournaments, and this is a real opportunity for them. The whole Iranian parkour team are just next level. I really need to give some shout outs and props to them because they don't know what the rest of the community knows about them, but we know, guys, Iran parkour is legit. Do we going to bring Joe in for an interview? down he knows oh Joey's ready three two one all right Joey Adrian the shoes. his shoes off making sure he's all grippy here he goes round off double, double fall over oh. the wall oh that's a high wall whoa little cargo gainer from the back there top front, <laughs> front over the cap that was huge he hasn't stopped on the bar straight into a webster striding into a congo Woo, back full precision onto the box. Cork out. Front flip down the drop. Now Cameron doing a really good job on that work editing. Right to the bar. Devil sideward. Woo, that's a big jump for him. Hanging wow. cast. Massive. Oh, stomp to his feet. Very nice. Joey place. Adrian. On top of it. Woo. He knows it too. Oh, yeah. There's that finger snap. He's happy with that run. That's it, guys. These guys, I've already got the run planned on the head. They know what they want to do. So when they're competing on the course, they're competing against themselves, making sure that they get what they wanted. 
and no one's really competing against each other. It's man versus the course every time. We're finding the best style that's best suited to this environment. Oh. Joey Adrian just killed it right there. Here it is, Kong front, cleared over the box. Into Webster, half twist off. Very smooth. Connecting all of his lines together simultaneously. Very smooth, very fluid. Oh, it's like watching water fall off this cliff here. It's beautiful. Oh. Big jump. Right into one of the cleanest. Look at that. Whoop. Finished. Joey, Joey Adrian. Adrian. Where about in the USA is he from? He is from the United part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was from Colorado. No? Uh, that's Sean Higgins. That's Sean Higgins from Colorado. We'll find out. We will find out. I only met him a couple times in Vegas. <laughs> we are about halfway done with all of our competitors. Well, his video is on, <laughs> he's live now on Instagram. You can watch his replay go on World Parkour Championship on Instagram to see what you've just seen. With all the angles. Looks like we're gonna be joined by a special guest in the uh, studio now with us. All right. We are joined here live with Sean Higgins, our first competitor on our freestyle and our speed competition. How do you feel like you did out there today? Uh, I, felt, I felt like I pretty did good. Um, I was definitely tired, you know, all, all the competing is, makes your legs and stuff so sore. But And going first is honestly always the hardest thing. So I, I did my best. I think I did really well. I wish I could have done a little bit better on my flow, but other you than that, like I, think I, I think I really did good. Yeah, I was watching happy when I see you finish and you look like you were happy with your run. Yeah, Man. I did want to do the low gate. I did the low gate yesterday and uh, I didn't hit that. I was just too gassed at the end, but a little stumble there. And But I really like this A-Twist Gumby Hyper. Gumby, I knew it said he threw yeah. the Gumby in there. So that was cool. I didn't think anybody was going to do that, you know, for that um, little tricker style. I that. love seeing your style. Oh, just like there, that yeah. hand plant half turn right there. Just like and here it is, that cast back gap in it. Yes, that was that was one. I was looking at that all weekend. Like, oh, I definitely want to hit that. I hit a palm flip down here. I'm not sure if the cameras caught that. You did a double A twist up. Elevated that yeah, thing. Yeah, double A twist. <laughs> yeah, setting that bar high going first. It's something. I had it, to, you know. It's tough going first uh, uh, out there on the competition. For sure. <laughs> but now that it's all over, you can just relax. Now I chill, yeah. Chill and relax and watch the rest of the competitors. Awesome. Oh, you can commentate with us. Stay here. Oh, I'd <laughs> love to. <laughs> I'll stay, I'll stay for a little bit. Very okay, cool. Let's see what's happening back on the course. Let's see if our next competitor is ready. Who yeah, we got? We're about halfway done with all of our comp competitors right now. We got Mohammed. Mohammed Moradi from Iran. This dude is insanely good. Uh, I can't wait to watch his run. He's just so poppy and ridiculous stamina and energy. I, he started out the last Alive After Five yes, with this, this dude. easy cart dub on concrete. So we'll see what he's got. Awesome. Is a little powerhouse. All right, he's giving a thumbs up, getting to his starting position. Looks like he's starting out on a different spot of the course. Ooh. Yeah, these yeah. guys get to choose where they want to start and where they want to finish. That's the beauty of the freestyle round. Ooh, he's going to start on the, right in the middle section there. And he's asking, the, asking some of the spectators and athletes to please move out of the way so, so he can do his run smoothly and not have any interruptions. That's I saw some stuff that he was working on earlier, so expect some really powerful moves. I think he's going to hit a low cast back here. Oh, um, well, I really hope it goes well for him. He was the one that did that low cast back in that hallway, in right? That hallway. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was like below knee height. Yeah, it was uh, just, no, it was, a, it was right above knee height. Well, right so above right, knee height? Right There's <laughs> just nothing small enough for him but here. It was is a there? super <laughs> tight gap. It was only about very Four narrow. feet behind him, yeah. I'm sure you can find him. that on Instagram. There's posts of that. Yeah, it's uh, I think we'll be able to find it. All right. Check out those hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed Muradi from Iran. Here we go. Three, freestyle. two, one, go. Wall well, run, tic tac, Whoa, right into a scoop court. Smooth, starting things off with some great flow. Whoa! Little miss like step. side flip. Touchdown raise. Here, Here it is. comes. Oh, what? Very oh. clean stomp. Called it, Sean. That was nice. A little lazy ball down. Nice smooth rollout on that drop. 
straightens the palm flip. He's going under and around the wall. Ooh, single oh, cork off. Cork. On the bars, getting prepped. Oh, oh. little tap with the toes off the bar. On top. There it is. Oh, oh. Little, not quite slip. Worm hanging. He hit that back so clean. Back 360. Alive after five. Wasn't expecting that. Tick tack up. He's making his way up Cart to the top. Right here. Round off. Oh no. Card he's just, full. He's getting gas. You can see. Yeah, he's getting tired. He's it's making hard. his way up and down the course. He's moving all around this place. <laughs> he gets the highest bars of the course energy. to finish. All right. Does he finish there? Has he got one more move oh. for us? Come on, what you got? Oh. He's gonna call it. That's it. Mohammed Moradi from Iran. Woo! Let's cut to some replays of that action. Yeah, that he is so good, honestly. I think, you know, a lot of these guys from Iran, they don't have much competition experience, so I'm so happy to see them. Oh, in. me too, man. They, they so needed to Ooh. come out and be a part of this. There's that Miss Lake tunnel flip I like. It's a macaco Touchdown. full twist. Yeah. Here it is. Super. Look at that. Woo! What a high cast. Jeez. <laughs> it's insane. Very smooth cork out right there. I love this, the swing cast, but with the, t the foot tap. Just touch it. So back. clean, Ooh. stomped it. Yeah, he little tap on himself. And here he goes there. for that full, landed it. Ah, oh, not quite as clean as he did it at the live after five, but still showing that he can throw it down. Finishing with a round off full twist. Woo. Thought he was gonna do something on top of this wall, but he just wanted to show the crowd off. Yeah. Finish whatever you want. <laughs> Finishing on top. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Finish on yeah. <laughs> Dunsky. Very nice run from Mohammed Moradi. I didn't see that the first time. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go back up top and, and just enjoy the rest of the comp. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You did. Great job, Sean. Thank you. You did well out there, bro. Good luck. I appreciate it. There's our production manager and the mayor. Again, we are at seven athletes in with seven athletes to go. We're at the Freestyle. halfway mark. Oh, I almost don't want this to be over so fast. I know. Yesterday we were like, oh my gosh, I don't know if we're going to be able to compete because it's raining or it's going to be clouds coming in. But today, it's beautiful weather and it's going to be cut like a little short for this freestyle. But we're going to keep it going. We're going to have a jam afterwards. All the athletes get to train on the course. We'll have the uh, announcement of all of our winners. And then the after party. <laughs> and then the after party. Oh, I gotta give a big shout out to these drone and camera operators. They're doing a, a really great job of getting all these athletes on shot. I feel sorry for the other camera guys that never get cut to. <laughs> Stick to the drone. All those, all those transitioning shots from right before the wall and you get to see the other side of the wall, you don't miss an action. There are a few moments where you get to, you, you missing some of the walls, but I'm loving it. This is up next, Iran, Farshad Mohamedian. We've got a few Iranians in a row right here. All right, making sure we don't have a repeat of yesterday. Got to make sure strength to those ankles. All right, here we go. Starting going over the little wet spot. Whoa! Is that a 360 dive roll? Oh my gosh. We're definitely gonna instant replay of that one. Nice little turn vault right there, reverse. He's going over the obstacles. He's gotta make sure he's get this really far run up. Whoa, big side flip back roll out. Dropping down the wall with lazy vaults. Smooth roll out, palm flip. Little hand touch at the bottom. Onto the bars, pull over. Uh-oh, eyeballing it. He's got something planned. Woo! Oh, Just lost his balance right. a little bit. Is he going back for in the second attempt? Back full Scoot off the Scoot on, full off. 
Hesitating a little before each trick, the mic count against him on his flow. A little double Inward drop side. side. Flip. And, and he's done. finished. Nice and smooth. Not quite the run Farshad wanted, but it's in and out. Nice way. Farshad Mohammedian from Iran. Big massive side flip, and I want to see that. Di I, want the I don't know what it was. Dive yeah. roll. I thought it was a side flip, but then it showed the shoulder roll out. So was it a roll? Was it a 360 dive roll? I'm going to assume 360 dive roll. I, I believe he did that during the uh, the live after five. Really? R that uh, over the dive, but the uh, it was a lot closer together. Or we had a yeah that's that transition right. of those power <laughs> boxes in the middle. But this one, he actually gapped over it. Look at that gap right there. Here it comes. Ooh! Yes! Wow. wow! Look at the way he pops oh straight onto his gosh, feet. That was so clean. And that huge side flip afterwards. Backward roll popped right onto his feet. Oh, phenomenal move. Oh, what a skill set he's got. Yeah, you, you have to run really fast <laughs> towards <laughs> hard obstacles and throw yourself and just know that you're, you're going to be able to control that landing. Wow. Staring at that landing all the way through that dive roll, twisting over, catching his hands. Oh. Takes a lot of practice, a lot of technique, a lot of trust in yourself. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to our next Iranian member. We've got Ilya, Ilya Mohaved. Right, Ely's been having a little wrist wrist uh, injury the past few days. He's got his wristband on there, making sure he's got that stable support. Doesn't want to get any further injury on that. He's gonna have to mentally drown out the pain to be able to continue with this. There's nothing worse. I've been there, bro. When you've got an injury and you're working on the injury and you've got to compete, perform, and just hide it. I mean, you'll know you'll know yourself if if, it, if, if you've if you can go or if you have to quit. Uh, it's scary sometimes watching these young athletes who've never really competed before go first time into it, and I'm just, I just pray that nothing goes wrong for them. All the other athletes keeping the energy up there, keeping it live and happy out there. Everyone's in good spirits. Clearing off the course as best we can, and there's that one wet spot we have there. Doesn't hinder in most any of the athletes, but still want to keep it nice and safe. Here's the paparazzi. <laughs> Gotta take them selfies. That's the signal. All right, here we go, Ilya. Ooh! Elevator side full. With Ginger flip Ginger down. Flip off. <laughs> roll Middle pop. roll pop. Oh! Side flip into a cat leap on the bar. What? Dude, the flip flip. over the pallet, <laughs> onto the drop. Was that like, was a massive drop. It was like a roll across the top without touching. Ooh. He's checking his hands out. Up oh, onto the bars. Looks like he might be. Yes! Fly away uh. precision! <laughs> and webs the half twist. And he's going to call it there. He knows it. Oh, wow. He's happy with what he did. And I'm happy for him. That's oh, cool, man. That swing gain of precision. Oof. I was waiting for someone to do that. And luckily, Ilya Mohamed, he got that one. <laughs> Hopefully get to see a replay of Mohamed Ilya's run. Here we go. Oh. That huge side, side flip again. Mohamed going on that one. I, I would, I'd pay to see that 360 dive roll one more time. Here we go, side oh, flip, oh. cat leap! Woo. That's how you raise the bar. Ilya going big on that one. And here we go, all the run up. Whoa! Was that a roll bomb? Roll bomb? That was a roll bomb! I did not see that the Woo. first time! Luckily for the instant replay, we can confirm that one. Ooh, even bigger trick than I thought it was going to be. Wow! <laughs> 
It, it changed angle the first time and when we first seen it, but yeah. that was it, a roll bomb. We had, I, had, uh, I was talking to Ziad before when the competition was moving those obstacles, and he was like, maybe I'll think about doing a roll bomb here. And I was like, woof, that's kind of a little sketchy on that edge there, but we just saw Ely on that instant replay throw that roll bomb. Woo! Very nice. Oh, it's very rare that's thrown into top competition. Oh, very rare. You gotta have that right, nice platform and, and then perfect drop just for that, that one technique. Oh. Local fans out here. Yeah. Coming out watching the competition, posting that stuff on instant God. social media. There are VIP guests. You can come to on the course, meet the athletes. Oh, yeah. The crowd got goes the way back out. up on top. And even down in the village, they're all watching up. Again, we got some of those pillars that were breaking off. This, this building is over 800 years old, so. Some of these things are going to be coming down. Yeah, we're going to stick with the old school rules of check yourself before you wreck yourself. Which translates to, if you want to try something new and you don't know if it's steady or not, then you go test it. You make sure. Don't rely on somebody else to say, yeah, it's good, go. No, you, you go check. Check yourself. Before you wreck yourself. Don't want to see anyone get riggedy, riggedy wrecked, son. Is our next athlete ready? All right, from Turkey, we have Beres Erdogan. And he's ready. Thumbs up to the judges. Three, two, one, go! Woo! That was nice a nice turn ball right there off his hands. A little top side flip. Woo! Cartwheels up. Kong the cat three. leap. Oh, hanging cast! That's a low, small gap. Very one. Very narrow That's gap. Technical difficulty points he's aiming there. Oh, Kong! Oh, shin front shin off! <laughs> shin front flip. Kong, Kong front over the gap. A little sleazy bolt down. Man, Virus is moving on this course. Another hand. back. Woo. Now making his way on top of that wall, up and around onto the bar. Devil drop front flip. Little touch down there, but I don't think he matters. He's straight onto the next obstacle on the bars. On top, falling, grabbing into the liché, and finishing with the hanging cast back. Very nice one, Barrett. Baris Ortegaon. Another a Turkey local right now. Very cool techniques in the beginning of his run. Nice to see different different variations of style and flow throughout the world. Let's get a little instant replay on his run. Here we go. Kong front with a pike out. Woo! Had some style in the air. Yeah, you had to you had to keep that pike to slow down that rotation. He went so fast into it. In with hanging side. Oh. And he made a decision then. I'm gonna go on top of the bar and fall to the next one. And swinging cast. Calling it right there. Barris or Dogan. There is the local mayor of Martin. Help supporting the event. It's such an honor to have him down with us. smiling here there he likes what he see I like that yeah it's very important that this event goes down well with the country as well and with great with great power comes great responsibility who's been your favorite athlete so far Ooh, uh, so far man it's all a lot of crazy stuff that 360 dive roll. I'm so glad I'm not on the judging panel this time. Oh, man. Joey Adrian with that Kong front over that gap. Combos. Oh, Akira with his round off double back, stomping it like it was no big deal. Like he was in a gym, right on the concrete. I'm excited for uh, Ziad, who's coming up in a little, in a couple athletes. I oh, saw some of his uh, warm up in his freestyle. He's got some big things planned always up his sleeve. Lebanon parkour. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, Ziad's one of those guys in the community that always leaves an impression. Of, you, know, you, you meet him the second time, like, I didn't remember <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> always a happy face to see. But up next, we've got another athlete from Iran. We've got Hamed Moradi. He's making sure he's making sure he tells all the judges and athletes, all the uh, the cameraman where to be, where he's going to be going for his run, so no one misses the action. That's that's quite professional. Getting himself into position. Give him the thumbs up. That's the signal. All right. Ahmed Moradi representing Iran. DJ, drop those beats. I think this is a remix by DJ Khaled. <laughs> for the cameraman, making sure he doesn't miss any of the action for his social media out there. All right. Okay, we're going back to Eric McCormashan from yesterday's speed run. Just gonna show some cool instant replays while we wait for the, for the prayer to finish. Look how fast he went. I've honestly never seen him move so fast in all my life. He's a big guy. Oh. Big guys tend to be slower, but the amount of power he has to move to shift his body. Yeah, you see the... Saw his grip see in his face. face. Yeah. Doesn't, he didn't quite get that lache on top of that precision on the bar. Mm, but it was enough to take first place? Enough to take first place. There he is. Okay, the little replay of the action that we've had today, Sean Higgins. Gonna cut to some of the cool moments that have already happened. Just while we're waiting for the prayer to finish. Nick. It looks like we're gonna cut to a little interview with our boy Joe. Hey guys, how are you today? Hey, welcome to the studio. It's an awesome competition going on. So I'm Who's so excited to see all the athletes around. What have you liked so far? What's really I stuck think out? my first impression was Joey Adrian is killing it today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my I boy don't know Joey. What, what about you? I like the Iranian guys. I mean, yeah. And then here comes Kira with that double back. Oh, man. Oh, like it was nothing. Like it was a standard backflip. Just tumbling on concrete. Yeah. Yeah. No it's big deal. Mentioned. 20 years of age. Yeah, so I was, I was saying the Iranian guys, it's so cool to have them in competition. True, it's great are. for them to have this experience and to go back to their country. And Yes, they are up to the level and they're doing a lot of amazing tricks and stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, we've got quite a few Iranians in the, in the lineup in the back end. One, two, three, four, five of them, in fact. Yeah, they are really committed to this sport, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. I watch the videos all the time. I just really hope like the rest of the world can appreciate the level that they are at because they yeah, are we, on a level we used, we used to say the russians are crazy mm. while doing parkour they have tough things going yeah. on and now we have the iranian guys going well, on i think it's from the extreme side you know because the russians do, do, you know do five backflips off a building and land in snow you know what i mean and it's freezing conditions that's extreme weather to be doing stuff like that yeah. but then in, in iran you've got extreme heat conditions yeah, and you've got to be crazy to do it there so it must be something to do with the extreme climates <laughs> massive side flip right there this Ooh. one was sick yes oh, the so side flip the cat leap uh, he went with for a, it with a wrist injury wrist and yeah. he's doing he's pulling all of this and and here's well, that roll bomb. One. Oh, dang it. We didn't get to see this version of it. But there's a Kong front with that pike out. Yeah, that roll bomb was, was phenomenal. We didn't get to see it the first time, but on the instant replay, got to see that other angle, yeah. and it was whew, way better than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, we're getting back ready for the next 
at least prayers finished, moving back in with the DJ beats, getting the crowd hyped. We've got our final three athletes getting up onto the course. We've got from Turkey, we've got Burke Yunus Goblan. He's going to be up on next. Do you have anything to say in uh, back home? Um. راح احكي بالعربي هلا لانه كل الشباب بالدول العربيه موجودين عم يسمعوا ويشوفوا نحن شو عم نعمل هيدا حدث شيء كثير كثير قوي وكثير حلو بالمنطقه وبالمينا ريجن وان شاء الله قريبا راح يكون بالدول لبنان والدول اللي حواليها وهالقصص ف ان شاء الله تكونوا مبسوطين باللي عم بيصير وبعد شوي راح يكون تعليق بالعربي لما بيطلع زياد كرم من لبنان فراح نعمل التعليق بالعربي وهلا بنكفي مع راين وفرناندو I completely agree. I, I, agree. <laughs> I know you have no idea what I just said. Exactly. But I was thinking the same thing, honestly. You yeah. heard my name at the end, so it's all good. <laughs> so it's all yours now. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. You're going to stay with us for the next athlete? Yeah, hopefully. Cool. If you don't mind. No, I don't hopefully. mind. No. Yeah, sure. Say what you see, bro. Even if it's in the um, Arabic? Yeah, the Arabic or Syrian? Or uh, how many languages do you speak? I speak three languages, French, English and Arabic. Oh, French, yeah. English and Arabic. Yes. Try we can give us in French as well. <laughs> All right, Burke from Turkey, here okay. we go. Whoa! Elevator double! Into the ginger flips. Whoa, Maybe nice little stall in that one. Ooh, precision on top of the rail. Doesn't quite get it, but whoa! That dive pull <laughs> through over. It was sneaky. Swing. Woo! Touchdown Ray, swing through dub cork. Okay. It was scoop. Ooh, little scoop back loser. Front flip. Kong it up. Whoa! Oh. Doesn't quite make it, but side rolls out to absorb that landing. Punch him with side off that ramp. Breath there, lazy vault down into a nice roll. Losing a little stamina, but got something else. There we go, onto the bar, hanging back. Uh, yes, nice Roll, pop off that box. Onto the wall, flip. He's still going, huh? Yeah, he's got 30 Ooh. seconds left on the clock. Swing gainer off, and he's going to call it. Very nice. Burke Yunus Goplan from Turkey. Wonderful seeing all the athletes. Yeah. And that background. You could tell he had a lot of a lot of moves up his up in his freestyle run, but a lot of explosiveness gets you a little out of breath there. Yeah, you gotta take in your stamina into consideration on a, on a course like this. This is a pretty big course. You don't want to move too fast through all of your big tricks because then you get winded. Yeah, you want to be able to yourself. space them out, pace it right Those there. Grandmaster scoot swing through double cork. Pushing off the back of that wall and that hanging back lip. Nice little, little layout in that wall flip. Powerful. 30 seconds left and he's going for it. All right. I believe this is going to be Ashkan Yazdemir, our wildcard winner from Iran. Step. Stepping onto the box, a little pistol backflip, one knee on, one foot. Keeping the flow going. All right, big run up. Kong, whoa! Oh, slips on the precision. Doesn't stop him though, keeps going. He knows he's gonna lose a little some marks for that. Let's see if he's got, he's got time to make it up. Clean in the shoes. Up onto the wall, whoa! It's a little wall spin. It's a one wall step wall spin right there. Down, getting it. Onto the bar, getting that big pump of the swings. Oh, he's not gonna do it. He's gonna call it there. Yeah, that's it. If you plan big things at the end of your run, you gotta make sure you got the strength and the stamina to be able to pull them off when you get to that part of the course. Fortunately, that stumbles in the beginning might have thrown off the rest of his flow and his vibe. One little thing, chain reaction, gotta stay with it. 
Yeah, Ashkan's cool guy. I was speaking to him yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Here comes Ziad. All right, yeah. Ziad Karam from Lebanon. Finally, the best for the end. <laughs> for the last. <laughs> All right. Yesterday he has uh, fingers taped up together, and today he had a tape removed. Yeah. I noticed his fingers. Are he dislocated the finger. Little, little less swollen, but still black and blue. But he's still gonna keep throwing those big moves. Yeah. It's so interesting what different athletes class as an injury. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, that's not gonna stop me. <laughs> Just gotta move that tape off, then you're good. All right, let's see a different angle of this this wall trick here. I think he did a one foot onto the wall. Oh, no! <laughs> Dang, what? Why would you pull away right there? Ah, oh. I think it was a fr step front full twist. Step Is front full twist. Yeah, I think so. Mm. We'll see in a playback. It looks amazing. Oh, I love in these aerial shots. Oh, you can see an athlete on the side of the dome just walking around like, ah, oh, it's just a sidewalk up there for us. <laughs> It's beautiful. This is going to be one of the coolest locations for a parkour event I've ever seen. And here goes Ziad. All right, Last starting one. up on the course. A little, little touchdown from Webster from the Ziad. Ziad. Voila. Here we go. Oh, round oh, off. Four. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> head spin. Half turn. Yeah. <laughs> Playing to the crowd a little bit. Yeah, he shows his personality in his run. Nice flaw on those boxes. Little wall That's spin. Nice. All right, here we go. And yes! Oh, I up and it. over the rail. That's the first time I've seen that. boy. <laughs> Make sure you get, get the out of the way. Here we go. And he's going for the huge. Oh, oh, big stall outside. Was a bio flip. flip. Or almost a Jonah? Woo, almost a Jonah, yes. Yeah, stalling out to that quarter twist. Whoa, going up on top of the course again. Making his way back to the bars under yeah, bar through. He's always a different guy. Ooh, front roll yeah, and he's finished, finished it. it. Oh, nice job, so Ziad. Look, he's still happy Woo! with that energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, he's happy with himself. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I'm glad he got that side flip in there. I saw him doing the practice run. It was, it's a far distance, and he got that rail to go over. You don't want to hit your head. He's got that nice technique to just right up and over. He's and definitely a beast, no? Definitely, yeah. And he made our day by just messing around <laughs> while doing That's why he used to like, like, he did, like he did yesterday in the speed competition when he went for a huge side flip. Yeah, so some of the guys get yeah. really stressed out from the pressure of the tournament, but it's great to have someone like Saida there just keeping the comic relief going, keeping it mellow, keeping it real, making sure all the guys are calm. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Yeah. It's, it's all about there. enjoying yourself. Woo! Yeah, that was a bit of a Jonah, a little sideways landing. Making it smooth, that roll out. Boom. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clean yeah. X. <laughs> Very well done from all of our athletes in our freestyle round. I think that was our final athlete. I oh, so. wow, that's it. Next, we're going to find out the winners. Mardin Turkey Parkour World Championship 2018. So now I'm going to move out so you can announce the, the winners. Yeah, it's been great talking and to you, Joe. Thanks yeah, for coming thank in the studio with we'll us. We'll see you soon. Absolutely. Yeah, Thanks so much, Bye. Joe. this injury oh, a lot of wraps wrapped up his hand wrapped up his knee I think he's just getting it tighter on there what's your worst injury ever been Oof. ah man worst injury there's a lot of injuries I've had and they're different like uh, different levels of injuries because Come some on. of them I can like keep going and some of them are like how much the Annoying. recovery process is, how long it's going to be and how long right. it hinders you from the rest yeah, of the that day. What really sticks out in your head from your history of injuries? What, which one? <sighs> you know, I've, I've got metal in my arm, I've got metal in my leg. Uh, you, know, you sound like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm turning to Iron Man slowly but surely. Yeah, artificial shoulder, yeah. artificial leg. I had a new smile. <laughs> I had laser eye surgery. They just keep fixing me. 
Yeah, you know my worst injury, right? Oh, your broken leg. Yeah. Ooh. It was the very first international parkour tournament, and I went and doiled it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I won the whole thing, and then on the victory, when they're announcing the, the scores and the names, I came down and decided to throw something I'd never done before. Okay, looks like we have our last final competitor out there. This is our wild card winner. Oh, this is Ashken. Ashkan Yazdemir from Iran. Got all of his injuries wrapped up nice and tightly. How is the wild card chosen? The wild card is chosen on the live after five. Didn't show, wasn't one of the uh, winners that made it, but he did show a lot of uh, creativity in his, all of his skills. Whoa! Oh, Touch one and one in the quarter to his dive roll. Gainer off. Keeping that flow going on the bar. Nice. Turn around. Whoa! Pulled up palm flip off of the bar. It was like dino yeah. palm flip. Whoa, nice side flip. That stall there, but he's not going to stop him. Oh, man, what's oh, he got? Oh, 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 I think I know what he's going for. Yes! Come, Gainer down! Yeah. That's got to be up there with the big tricks, creativity, the difficulty in that movement to throw it on concrete. Webster side, front flip off the box. Uh, rolling off the wall, rolling down. Rolling out. All right, he's got something on the bar here for us. Big upstart pull. Swinging Gainer. And he's calling it. Calling it. Nice shot. Let's get a replay on that count game. It was amazing. Definitely. Oh, you can see definitely. when an athlete's about to do something big, they give it a pause, you get the energy levels right, and then uh, I get scared, man. I get so it. scared watching them. Joey loving it, what he saw right there. Oh, look how massive that is. Look at that. Almost it's double their height. size. Wow, look, look at them. They're all looking at it. They all <laughs> appreciate what he's just done. <laughs> they all appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. What a way to end the freestyle. Yeah, man. Just just, just right on the very last run, you just raised the bar even more. Oh, beauty. It was kinda, I feel like it was missing that right there. The whole event was missing that can't gain it down. <laughs> it right really there. just completed it. What a spot for that move. Hopefully get to see some instant replays of those skills we had in that final freestyle round. Look at the happiness. Oh, the boys got through with the live. No one got injured. Yes. You really raised the bar there for, his, for, for the Iran team. All right, here we go. We're going to see that punch. One and one. three. Woo! Into that dive roll. It's a one and three quarter roll. Nice little step up. And here we get to see... This next move right here, he's going to put his hands on the wall. Dino up, palm flip off the rail. We didn't see that, but here comes side flip into the little stumble. We got a crack right there, but here he goes. Eyeballing it for that. Oh, roll to roll. Instant replays are looking a little, a little out of order, but... Let's see if we can get that Kong gainer. Yes, please. One needs to replay right now. From one one man to, with a beard to another, that is a finely trimmed beard. <laughs> Hello, you incredibly well-groomed man. <laughs> oh, there's the respect from the boys. All the athletes showing love. What a way to finish the competition. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like if you want to leave an impression, that's how you do it. That's it. You end it with a bang. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy for these guys. Yes. They came, Ex they saw, they smashed it. They Spell left with no energy. injuries and hopefully a title or two. We're going to have to wait for the results from the judges. Hopefully we'll have those with us soon. Any news on that? Here we go. Oh, we got Kong this. Gainer. Woo! Little slip out on the edge right there. Still. Woo. What a massive flip right there. And he didn't even cheat with it. He went straight back. Straight back over. Very nice. Very good. Oh, yeah. Look, he's happy. He's <laughs> Slow motion. Celebrating happy. that flip even after he's done. <laughs> yes. Oh, beautiful run from Ashkan Yazdemir.
Yeah, just another quick shout out to our sponsors and the help and the support of our event from Turkish Airlines, Morel Shoes, to and Turkish Home Campaign, the Ministry of Tourism, WFBF of course, don't forget to follow the World Parkour Championship on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Also check out the website worldparkourchampionship.com. If you want to take some of the official merchandise clothing, you can actually get these t-shirts that the athletes are wearing right now at wfpfparkourgear.com. And there's a lot more options on noobstacles.com. Checking out some of these highlights from the freestyle run. Dyer with that Kong front. Superman. Kill ah. that double back. Oh. I've never seen a landing so perfect on concrete. Oh my gosh. Especially from a guy so big. Massive amounts of body going through the air. Those quads, man. Yeah, one, two, whoop, clean stomp. That, oh. I would love to see that from a different angle. That was a huge yes. gap. You can't quite get the distance on this angle, but if you saw that Superman front from Dyer Sanchez, that is a massive gain of precision. And Eric, known for his hashtags, is our Joey. Gainer Saturdays. The guy who takes minimal steps between movements. <laughs> I think he's only allowed three steps in between each move, <laughs> minimum. I don't think he steps at all. Uh, There's nothing that's a walk. <laughs> one, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> There's that missed leg tunnel. And a touchdown twist. Oh my gosh, look at that. His shirt, shirt height, geez, right at the waist. To be able to get the rotation above the platform that you're taking off. Pushing off of those hips, Huge off those hands. It'll bounce off his bottom. He's cool. Here's that side flip, cat leap onto the rail. With a wrist injury. Woo! Very nice. And here comes that roll bomb onto the box. Oh, oh good, we don't quite see that. Kong front, right on the edge. Here we go. Oh. And there's, there's the all athletes. The athletes. Yeah, stoked the competition happened. It's over. Oh, I wish it was still going. Loving the atmosphere out well, here. I need to get out there and join them I now. Know. Oh, stuck in this booth all day. It's freezing in here. <laughs> oh, I want to grab my son. What a beautiful location, though. <sighs> so it smiles all around. Athletes know they just got through something huge, epic together. It's just going to be smiles for the next 24 hours and as, as all the Instagram posts go out, make sure you follow the, um, what's the Instagram handle? At World Parkour Championship. You can see all the highlights and the replays. Also try and follow these guys individually. Using the hashtags at Mardin, at WPC Turkey, hashtag WPC Turkey. Oh uh, yeah, that collective drone shot. All the athletes out there. And a big shout out for our drone cameraman. Doing a lovely job this past weekend. Yes. Not too many competitions that are televised by drone. That's amazing. Get a different angle, different perspective on that. I feel like I'm in the 3D render that I built in the course. And like it, cause <laughs> Moving around it. Changing angles in that program to the same angles that these drones are capturing. <laughs> you know? I saw your 3D rendering and be like, yo, we got to film it like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. adding up all the scores finalizing the results hopefully we'll get confirmation soon man just want to go out there and just start jamming on the course get my GoPro out and start filming did a little bit of filming today but when they were trying out the course you had to go I did a little bit oh of yeah I see those, they those side flips elevators and some of the little, uh -huh. little POV GoPro runs but I want to play on more of it man and oh Britt was out there dressed as the Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that, that was what I say. When I first came here, it, w it was the same year that the Assassin's Creed, the first video game, came out. Wow. So I was kind of like pushing that on the tags. Very nice. 
can't imagine all the assassins back in the day who practiced parkour. Well, it, <laughs> yeah, it, and that was the type of architecture that was back in the day, so... Mm -hmm. Still waiting for a, a shot of a pigeon doing a backflip. There was, there's one, there's one, let's see what happens. Oh, 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 oh that's a drone. Oh, that was <laughs> 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 that's a UFO for Let's a see a drone do a backflip. Looks like we have a bug on the screen, on the <laughs> lens right there, crawling it up. Oh, there he's gone. <laughs> Wants to get close to the action as well. We got some dark clouds over there. Hopefully they stay over there so we can jam on the course. And don't want to tear down in the rain. We've had a beautiful weather this entire morning all the way up until now. It's so yeah, sunny. Just the right amount of sun with the right amount of clouds so that these athletes can get in the shade and out in the sun. It's, it's, the, we've been lucky, we've been really lucky with the weather. Yes. I mean, considering the forecast was supposed to be torrential rainfall and oh. thunderstorms for the next three days. It you just, it gave us those little, little gaps to even, be able to make this event happen. Even yesterday at the hotel, remember the lightning strike and the power went out a few times. That's, yeah, imagine yeah. That, that could have happened. On the course here. But the parkour gods were out for us. Yeah, <laughs> looking at it like we need to finish this competition right in the sun. Yeah, I got some flips out there too. I went up and did a Webster Precision, like yeah. toes right, Ooh, on, right edge. on that edge there. Yeah, we can see a little huddle of the athletes over there. Beautiful, beautiful architecture. If you're just now joining us, what the heck have you been doing this entire time? We finished up this course. This competition is practically over. The World Parkour Championships. We're just waiting for the results from the judges, and you will find out who the next world champion is. Wish we could get like a, a graphic of a lineup of our, of our finalists. Mm -hmm. Again, we had 14 athletes in our freestyle finals. I'm going to read those names off one more time. All right. I'm going to read them off. Here we go. The finals we had first up, we had Sean Higgins from USA, Nick Provo from Canada, Dyer Sanchez from Mexico, Kira Kolesnikov from Russia, Eric Mukamechin from the Ukraine, Joey Adrian, USA, Mohamed Moradi from Iran, Farshad Mohamedian, also Iran, Ilya Mohavad, also Iran, a lot of Iranians. Baris Erdogan from Turkey. Hamed Moradi, Iran. Berke Yunis Koplan, Turkey. Ziad Karam from Lebanon. And Ashkan Yazdemir, our wildcard winner from Iran. So Iran stands a pretty big chance in Man. taking it this yeah. time. They Iran had five athletes. It's like a third of the competition right there. Uh, it doesn't go by the country competing. It's like those athletes made it to the finals based, surely based on their own skill set. Whoa. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Look at that strength. Uh, dude, this is where all any energy left that these guys have got is just <laughs> going to go into having fun now. Oh, I love this part of the cup. Oh, bar stars. Oh, that is such core strength. Wow! Layout from flip. That air awareness right there. Wow. Quite the stall. These little fun times to. Oh, might be going for a wall stomp backflip. Oh, no. Giant. Whoa! That's a huge crane. That's a huge flyway. You've got to yeah. be able to pull your upper body so hard. Here's Tavon McVeigh. From US of A, he was one of our finalists, but wasn't quite there feeling his goes. freestyle. Nearly. Chose to expel himself out of the freestyle competition. Any yeah. reason behind that? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to get a confirmation on that. Maybe he just doesn't want, wasn't feeling it. Maybe he had yeah, an injury. Small that, injury. But 
Yeah, it's still cool that he, he was here and was part of the speed round. Absolutely. He was in the 11th and 5, and he qualified. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be a really narrow spot. What's he doing here? I'm going to guess wall 360. I was thinking the same thing. Ooh, or just double a cork, cork Ooh. on concrete. Wow. Some more highlights from the freestyle. Oh, tap, loving that style. Little D leg side flip there. Sean Higgins. Ooh. Again, look at this gap. That's where Eric Muka mentioned did that gainer. It's a far gap. Really hope we can get another angle of that. But lazy boy Ooh. backflip. From nice Nick. job, Nick Provo. Here we go. Dyer Sanchez. Kong. What? Superman <laughs> front. It looks like a double Kong, like an invisible double Kong right there. <laughs> That's shown style, though. <laughs> very, very creative moves he got there. Definitely on the creative points right there. Yeah, he drilled that little tuck inside flip and drilled <sighs> it out. Round off. Double back. No set with the arms, but so solid landing. Massive leg power from Kira. Here he goes. Scoot double full. Whoop. One, two. Oh, look at that landing. No move. He bounced out of that landing. Bam. Massive gainer. Whoop. Really close to that wall flip. Oh. Not to Superman from flip. <laughs> I'm going to try and count his steps, Joey Adrian. I don't think he takes any <laughs> movements. Look, lands. He goes into right the into it. He goes into the next one. One, two. Three up on top. Plyo. Down, back full, step off the box, straight into a cork. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes one, one step, two, two step, three step on the ledge, miss legs. That was nice. Touchdown full. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the look how high Oh, oh popping Ooh, up landing on a go. Feet. Wow extend fully straight and fully tucked in such a small amount of time. If you have a if you have a sofa chair at your home, go ahead and put your waist on it and your hands on it and see how high you can pop up. And try imagine doing a backflip around. It's ridiculous. That's why these guys are here. Whoo! Oh man, there's so many cool movements that got thrown in this event. Want to see that roll bomb? Right here. Ah! That cut. Like that, that dino palm flip off the bar. That was another smooth move. Really explosive. That's it. Round up. Master Scoot, double cork. Okay. And here we go. Punch, one, three quarter dive oh, roll. So smooth. And he just pops up straight away. Step, Woo. lay out. Right on through. Here we go. Turn around. Hands on the ball. Pops up and then his palm flip off the rail. And then here we go. This is the moment right here for that Kong gainer. Force we don't get to see that on this angle. Rolling it around. Smooth. Those are some of the highlights from the freestyle round. Finishing up with his flyaway. Freestyle highlights. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be taking a little break before the judges release the final results. Stay with us, don't go anywhere. I'm Ryan Doyle. Fernando Arce. And we'll see you soon for the World Parkour Championships finals.